in high school, uh, my pathway, I didn't know what I wanted to be. And so I figured I might as well get, um, I might as well go to community college and just like kind of figure myself out a little bit too. And so it was at community college that I found a love for science and just teaching others that would be so amazing. And then I was like, you know, you and I has a great teacher program. And so we just got on that train and haven't looked back. My admissions counselor, she really helped me out. And so I like come on transfer visit days. And so we would talk and she would answer all of my questions. And then she actually invited me back to another time. And so during those visits, I was able to talk one-on-one -on -one with an advisor. And so they walked me through like this booklet of what it's like to transfer to and I. And it listed the steps of like applying, accepting, um, the scholarship application, just all of those steps in one booklet that I was allowed to keep. I was super happy with how the process of transferring went. Um, it was super easy, answered all my questions. And like even now, like getting my transcripts ready, it's just all in one place. And so it's super easy. Um, I can always go back to Olivia if I have any questions. And so just having those resources is just so incredible and so helpful. I was a bit worried about academics, but the Learning Center, um, it was actually really amazing. The free tutoring there um, utilized quite often. I lived in like the transfer floor of Shoal Hall, which is a dorm on campus. And so like all of the entire hallway um, were transfer students. So just having that awesome transfer community um, really helped the transition. Advice I would give students thinking about transferring to UNI is to utilize the free resources we have, whether that's just emailing um, the admissions office or even just visiting. It's super helpful just to like see the campus and the community in person. It's an amazing, easy process.